Hello, my name is Kathy Bertrand, and I am the sacristan at Holy Spirit Catholic Church. The sky bears for us a dawn and a dusk. Unfortunately, I became the sacristan here at Holy Spirit uh, when my good friend Marie Morton knew she was dying of cancer back in, um, well, she passed away in September, so the summer of 2020. And very unfortunately, at the same time, my own husband was dying of cancer. They had two different kinds. But Marie had, I talked to her almost daily. We became very good friends, and I used to help her do things at the altar, put on cloths or whatever she needed done, I'd help her with. And she said to me, it would happen to be the Thursday before Jim passed on a Sunday morning. She said, I can't, I just don't have the strength to go in and set the altar. Could I do it on Thursday? Because I don't know what happened on Friday but, or the rest of the time, but I said, yes, I could go. And unfortunately then on that Sunday, the 23rd of August, Jim passed away. And Marie asked me then if I could start taking over doing the duties that she had as sacristan. So I started shortly after I had a week that I, I can't even remember who came in or how she did it, but then I started helping, helping out here at church as the sacristan. And I am so grateful. I just can't say it enough to her because she insisted, Father told me that just about on her deathbed, she insisted that I do this because her own husband had Alzheimer's for many years and she kept him at home. And she would come in, she'd have a nurse come stay with Joe so she could come in and do sacristan duties. And she said it just helped her through that period in her life and then Joe did pass away. For 25 years she did the job. And she knew how I would feel once Jim passed and how I would be at loose ends. That's the only way I can describe it. You miss your spouse, your life changes drastically. And um, truly without it, I don't know what I'd do now. I, I guess I would have found something else to do, but I love coming in here and I love helping out. And um, I couldn't be in a better place. And I'm grateful to Marie, first of all, and to Father Anthony for allowing me to do this. That's, that's how I became the sacristan here at Holy Spirit. And all these days are numbered young, and I take The main thing I do is to prepare the altar for Mass. That means getting out the chalice and the paten and putting the host in, in the paten for... Uh, that Father consecrates, the big host that he holds up, and the water, the wine. I make sure we have, hopefully, enough communion, on this, uh, enough hosts on the weekend for all the people that are going to be at Mass. Sometimes we have, only once have we, have we uh, run out where we had to break hosts, but we usually have more than we need because that's always a big concern. I do keep the uh, altar linens clean. And Pat Hunsinger, who has been doing it for, I believe, over 35 years, washes the purificators, which are what Father wipes the chalice with, and then the corporals that the sacred vessels sit on when he consecrates. Uh, and I clean afterwards. We do purify the uh, vessels. Father does some of it, but we do it in the sacristy. We make sure everything is, is clean and uh, ready to go. I, I have to keep an eye on the candles and make sure they don't burn out because those are oil-based candles and some days they might just go out and we wouldn't be able to light those. In the beginning, to be a sacristan, I guess I, I felt like, well, I'm here and I'm, I'm getting everything ready for Mass. And, and I've always wanted to come to daily Mass, but there were times when I'd think, oh, I could go back to sleep, because I actually retired. I was a high school secretary for 16 years, retired in 2000. And I thought then, oh, I could just walk over to church, and I live about four minutes driving time away. Well, there's no way I was going to do that, or even ride my bike. 
So as a result, I maybe made it to church once or twice a week, if that. But this, being a sacristan now, truly has brought me closer to God. Um, I'm, I'm more cognizant of what goes on in the Mass, even though I knew it. I never went to Catholic schools. I feel like I, I know about everything with our, not everything by any means, but I knew about Mass, and I always, I never miss Sunday Mass. Um, we've been here for 38, almost 39 years now, so our children were raised here, and um, whether they liked it or not, they came to Mass on Sunday, and when we had Holy Days, they were here. Um, but this this has, it's made an impact on my life. I um, I never, when I first met Father Anthony, he, he said to me, that we should all take a time to pray at home and to spend time alone with God. And that's something I never really did. And I, I'm still struggling with it. I still find myself thinking, oh, I didn't spend as much time as I could have. And now that I am a widow, which I name my term I really don't like too much, I find that uh, the, the place I can stay most alert is sitting on a stool at my island. And so I've just kind of made that my little headquarters. And I, I, I'm i enjoying watching uh, Bible in a Year, which is something I don't know if I'd ever really watch. I'm on my second time around. I didn't quite complete it because my son came with his family for the summer and that took care of that for the summer. But I'm back to that. And um, just, just being here in the presence of Jesus and being with him, uh, it's been... I can't even describe it. I'm very, very happy to be doing that. And um, it, it has made a difference in my spiritual life. Plus, we've started small prayer groups here at church. And I, I'll start crying about them. They've become good friends. Um, they know who they are. We all feel the same way. And we meet once a week. Um, and we pray. We laugh, we talk a lot. I've shared things with them and they've shared things with me. We, we've all, we share, we, uh, we have a Bible study that we have followed. We're gonna start another one soon. And it's, that has been wonderful too. So it has affected me, yes. And I hope I can continue doing it for a few more years anyway. It's you.